Come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. A wonderful day, awesome day, great day. Ciao, hola. Yeah, I tell these stories seriously. I do, and I intend to give the vibe, although I can't. <clears throat> I cannot be that harsh in the vibration I intend to, so I'm a little louder. But honestly, it's painful. It was so painful. Imagine if I would have made that project mine. Like, I am not this, I'm not that, but now I'm that. Whatever, but what's the name of the project? Oh, let's decorate our school or our community center. Then I would have felt incredibly diminished with that situation, wouldn't I? I would have been felt like threatened as my persona because now someone else wanted to take over violently instead of us choosing together or at least putting it out for discussion. No, I'm waiting for the car to lock, it doesn't wait. The brutality and the violence with which we addressed both. The break red lady was kind of ridiculous and the, like this, I don't know, but that's not that. She was tall and overweight, but then again, it hurt me. It hurt me so much. It was sad. I was walking among the plants. What the shit am I doing here? I should have just known and not walk there. Then let them pick them out. But she did at the end and she did not know what to pick. She had no idea. I don't know whom she followed, but she didn't know about gardening. She had never done gardening before. She didn't study the book. But I did the gardening. And I know about the bougainvillea because I did the gardening. Do you see what I'm saying? I had the idea in my head, because I had the experience in the San Francisco Bay Area, what would work, what wouldn't work, and especially and particularly, and I made that very clear in the very, very beginning, and how I initiated and started the whole project is, this is an easy to realize project, which is also cheap in maintenance, and it's cheap in acquiring all the plants. And they're growing, they bloom all along. Thank you. See, caballeria. I still don't know about you there. Never mind. I don't have thanks for it. There we go. Thank you. I say it again. We wanted flowers which are happy and joyful all year long. Not only just for a moment, which are very inexpensive to acquire. You could buy them all in the market next to it. That did not need any special care. And good to go. Easy peasy. No, but she went with some project with someone pulled out there. Maybe just to provoke the situation. We gotta go native now. We are from the... <clears throat> that means weeds. Give me a moment. Literally. Go native. That was like a thing now. Because they ever follow something. And I looked it up in the magazine as I showed it. It means weeds. Yeah, that but grows like... We don't need a project for that. Just let it grow. Shit. But who wants to talk against someone who's like brutal and violent? I don't. I wish I wouldn't have gone there. I didn't want it to be there. And I didn't mind this whole part. I didn't mind put anything in you want. But it didn't make sense to go through all this effort to have it look like the same in just about, I don't know, a few months. Being not attached to certain things doesn't mean that your input is not better than others. Would have been another one better even because I, like I said, I'm not a gardener, but I have the experience and I did it in my front yard and I did it with the neighbors too because she, oh yeah, she poor thing, she couldn't move. Or was it her husband who couldn't move? So it was just a mess and I had to look into that like every day right next to me in my very entrance. So offered, I do the garden for you. You know what really happened? What really happened is that they chose to smoke weed because now in, so legally it was authorized as a remedy for whatever not. Whatever not pain then went there. So they smoke weed all day long. Of course they were lazy shit. And they do anything. So I did yard for them. Of course no pay. They only gave the money for the plants. That she did. And I had to live with the smell of her little growing weed inside her own doors, which is really smelly. For the rest of the time I was still in that place. I don't think I choose to do this again. Although, all the, at the time, it didn't matter at all because I'm done fighting a fight with anybody. I didn't know that she was smoking weed. I wouldn't have been so joyful doing it because I thought they had like an illness and couldn't move. Yeah, well, they had a mental illness. 
I wouldn't have done it so joyfully if I would have known I'm just supporting drug addicts, right? It's just not fair. Yeah, because I always like passed out. Slow baby, baby. If you look up native San Francisco plants, you're gonna see little strips. Yeah, a little bit of color here and there. Like weed. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. I don't know what else to say. I can tell you, but I don't remember the name of the plants. African daisy, I think that was it. Yeah, Home Depot, man, and all kinds of colors, and they grow like shit. You plant in a tiny bit, like a, like the size of your hand, and in a few months you have like the whole bed full of those, and they flower the whole year long. And that's almost overblown, the growth, and it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. They come in different colors, too. That was one of the things I had in mind. I remember. For example, because who thinks about it? I don't think many people thought about it much. I, I say Mexicans know how to do garden. No, they don't. Some do, some don't. But do they really take an account? I mean, it's like that. She buys the flowers, has no clue, and he plants them. He doesn't mind to come and back because it's a job to take care of a garden. It gets, it's a job, it gets paid, and I don't have anything against it either. If the facilities are there, why not having any kind of harmonious constructions and all sorts of difficulties? It was just a public spot, that place, and there were like no money, and I don't know where the money hands came from to even buy a few flowers. But just what, if, if we would have planned ahead, we could have just cut them on our own yards. Now that I think about it, I mean, if it's about not spending money. But in community, you can do a lot of things, but not when one starts to like impose herself. And okay, so the, the lady with the break and bread, she was also scared of that monster. Because it was so harsh, there's no point to it. But did it help her to understand my point? No, she went now in a league with, okay, since the monster wants to govern, I'm gonna hang on to the monster. And I was in the back seat, of course, silent as usual. Don't impose myself in no way. I don't even sneaky, sneaky intend to convince anybody. And since there was no forum to voice out anything of my experience any longer, I shut the fuck up, I kept quiet. And then what happened next? Let me tell you. I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I did instead? I took a nap. It was a very good nap. That email? I took a nap. Zoom call? I took a nap. What about your lunch plan? I took a nap. House chores? I took a nap. Home workout? I took a nap. Bath time? I took a nap. What about the egg geese? I made time for that. The end of this chorus? I took a nap. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am. 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 Cold cream soup. Taste is cocoa, Want me your wife, but 